All right, well, here we go again. Oh, brought this thing back from the grave. And uh, we uh, had a short, and it was in the scrap pile. Anyway, so uh, I don't feel like taking the bottom off of it and showing where we redid the caps and the uh, rectifier diodes and all that. I might do it sometime when I got it apart. But anyway, to tell the story is is that uh, it had a shorter center tap on the transformer so luckily uh, uh, the person where we was at he had one out of a Mako 300 that had two of them which was probably my other one that had six LB6's and it had two drivers five that just never would work right so it got scrapped out <clears throat> anyway I took the transformer out of this one I put the transformer out of the, that Mako 300 one that was laying around put it in here got it all hooked up <clears throat> threw 48950 tubes in it and uh, and lo and behold I'm sitting there like I'm sitting there like it's on the bench and I'm like look the tubes ain't lit up and uh so yeah well, you couldn't hardly see it okay I went on ahead and checked filament voltage in it and lo and behold this is a Mako 200 this had a meter added to it and it works and it's one driving three 6LB6's not uh 8950s which is good because I don't have a lot of 8950s but I got enough 6 LB6s uh, for right now so I brought it home put four 6 LB6s in it and uh, the thing works great what I don't like about the thing is it's the model without the preamp I got a preamp sitting right here in Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah. It's Mako Mini Brute. That's sitting there. Got the reposition switch. There we go. For standby and preamp. Um, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Uh, since it does have 14 volts DC, I could possibly use what I use in the transistor. Uh, amplifiers I don't know how that will work out but I may try it then again I may not but anyway um, dummy load of course you know you, I was supposed to use them on, uh, on 10 meters so there you go anyway driving it with a Connex uh, Saturn CX33 single side band just for informational purposes and ex experimental purposes I am on channel 20 on a dummy load as long as I'm on a dummy load everything's cool now uh, it does not have the low or high all it has is high power single side band does work good Hello. Hello. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. Testing. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. Got some awesome swing to it, too. Uh, I guess the meter could be fine tuned a little bit, but, uh, on the front, but it was added. So, anyway. That's it. Needs a good cleaning. It's rough. I did put the fuse holder back there. The fuse was on the ins inside. You should have seen it. They just had the wire just uh, taped to it. 
You know what I mean? I mean, uh, soldered. Wire soldered one end of the fuse and wire soldered to the switch to the other end of the fuse, just flopping around in there. So, I did put that in there. And, uh, other than that, it works great on 6LB6. It's just as good as uh, with 8950s and, uh, you know. Let's see. Oh, heck, I ain't got but six more 6LB6s. But, I can use 6LR6s or 6LF6s. Anyway, it'll work out like that environment now. As far as this thing's concerned, I don't know. All right. Hit the like button. Thanks for looking, and uh, I'll post some stuff later on because there's always something going on around here for sure. Oh, and I am working on a steel tube uh, amplifier, also taking a Mako Maverick 250, I mean, and uh, turn it into one steel tube, uh, 4CX 150, and. Uh, just about got all built, got the transformers and all that in it. Uh, just a few more things to go, and, uh, and that'll be it for that. And I'll post that also. Anyway, I appreciate y'all looking, and uh, be sure and hit the like button. 73s.